Hi, and welcome to Cooking the Books with Heather. On today's episode, we are going to be making a relatively simple recipe. We're going to be doing pool steak from the Pool's Diner Cookbook. I've got the book open here because I'm going to need to reference it probably a lot while I'm cooking, but it's all going to happen right here on the stove in the oven. So first, I'm going to heat up my cast iron pan um, to medium high and I've got some neutral vegetable oil to heat in the pan as it heats up. Uh, when it, let's see, when the oil begins to shimmer, we can put the steak in. So first, before we put the steak in though, I need to season it liberally with salt and pepper and that is that's all the seasoning that goes directly on the steak. So I'm just putting quite a bit of salt on here. This is a super huge, um, I think it's two and a half pound bone in ribeye. Uh, it's an inch and a half to two inches thick. And, ooh, excuse me. And it's going to uh, feed the whole family. Um, so I've got to get this seasoned on both sides. Uh, also, it's been out of the refrigerator for about an hour, at least an hour. It won't quite come up to room temperature, but it at least won't be, you know, shockingly cold. Um, cook a little bit faster that way. Okay. So we've got a good amount of salt and pepper on there. And our oil, it's not quite shimmering yet, but oh, this is heavy. It's gonna be even heavier once the steak is in it. Okay. So um, we also have some butter that's gonna go in a little bit later. Um, and we have a whole head of garlic that's been sliced in half along the equator and some thyme. And this is all gonna go in the pan, different points. And we have some red wine. And that's all that goes into this recipe. So I think we're just, uh, our oil is almost there. I'm trying not to lift it up too much so it doesn't, I'm trying to see if it's shimmering, you know, once it's real hot, we'll be ready. And it doesn't cook for that long on the on the stove. I think about four minutes on one side and about two on the other. So we're gonna um, it's gonna be kind of a quick thing. Be careful. So start to smoke. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my steak in. And then we put the garlic and the herbs in the pan. And we're going to let that sit for about four minutes. We want to get a good crust on that side. Just want to mention right now, I have my oven preheated to 450 convection. So we're going to start it on here on the stove top and we're going to finish it in the oven. Um, I think my husband is trying to get the probe thermometer ready um, so we can just take it out when it's done. But I have an instant read as well um, if we need that. We're just letting it go at this point. Okay, it's been four minutes. I'm going to put in some butter. Um, cold, unsalted butter cut into cubes. We swirl this around a bit. She says she says that'll help um, release, it'll stop the cooking a little bit. It'll slow down the cooking. It'll help the steak to release from the pan. And then, all right. Using our tongs, we're going to flip it over. And get a little 
bit of that underneath. All right. So we put the garlic and the thyme on top of the steak. And add another tablespoon of butter to the pan. And now we tilt and baste. So we're basting the, uh, the seared side with the sort of browned butter for two minutes. Now I'm going to turn this off because we're about to put it in the oven. I have this pro thermometer where this part sits out of the oven and this part I'm going to try to put right in the middle. There we go. In the middle of the meat and then I'm going to stick this in the oven and it will beep when it's ready. I'm gonna need two hands for this. So this depends on how you like your meat, but she says eight to 12 minutes for medium rare. Depends on how thick it is, but this will beep when we're at 125, which I think is a little bit below medium rare. So it can come up to like 130-ish, which I think is where we like it. So now we're just waiting for that. Um, after this, we're gonna use the pan sauces, the, the pan juices to make a pan sauce with some red wine. So. Be back in about eight minutes. All right, it's really been about, oh no, 19 minutes or so, but my thermometer just went off. Oh, very hot. I'm sizzling the whole time. There we go. Um, I did look it up. Let's fix this. I did look it up and medium rare is usually 130 to 135. Ours, uh, I set the alarm for 125. Um, and it took it out and it's now like 127. It'll, it'll go up um, as, as it rests. The temperature will continue to go up a little bit, but we are taking all of this other stuff off of it and now for some reason we make a pan sauce in a different pan so we're going to transfer all of the juices the butter um, the thyme the garlic everything to this pan a stainless steel pan which she specifically calls for and oh my goodness it's hot even this silicone um, heating pad is it? It's taking a beating. I can feel it. So we're gonna get as much out of here as we can. I think I'm gonna switch to the other one, which maybe will help. Get all, oh, man, so heavy. So heavy, so hot. All right, that'll just have to do. So uh, now we put this on high heat. I think she says, yes, place over high heat. And once it starts to sizzle, we're going to add some red wine and then we're gonna let that reduce by half. And then we're gonna add some more butter. So now we're just waiting for the sizzle. It was sizzling up and there's a sizzle. Um, I was just gonna use this spoon. So I'm going to add my red wine. That was sizzly. I'm going to let this reduce by half. The steak needs to rest for about 10 minutes before you slice it, so we've got plenty of time. 
turned the heat off. Um, and now we're going to go ahead and put in our last bit of butter. It's not super cold anymore, but that's all right. And swirl this in. And then all we do is season to taste with salt if we think it needs more salt. And this is our pain sauce that we serve over our uh, steak after it has been sliced. So you, um, when you're done with the steak, when the steak is rested, you just slice it and serve slices because that is a huge steak for anyone to eat uh, by themselves. And yeah, it got up to 138 already. So definitely pulling it uh, early is the way to go. So now I'm gonna test it for salt. You get a lot of flavor from that. Ouch. It's very hot. My spoon is very hot. I think the juice. Definitely needs a little salt. Salt and we'll serve that with our steak. We'll show you what it looks like once it's all sliced up. On this episode of Cooking the Books with Heather, you watched me make the Pools Steak from the Pools Diner Cookbook by Ashley Christensen. Um, it was really, really delicious. Whole family enjoyed it. Um, enough steak to feed the whole family because, you know, a very thick steak sliced up worked very well for that. Um, I did slightly overcook mine for our tastes, but that was entirely on me. I went longer than she said in the recipe, uh, trying to cook it to temperature, and then it went farther past the temperature than I expected. It's just not a method that I've used recently. So if, I think if I had actually followed this um, time-wise, even at the higher end of the time, I probably would have been closer to the way we prefer our meat cooked, um, which is, medium rare. So, um, yeah, it's a very, I think it's a very impressive steak, um, with the herbs and the butter and everything. It's a little, it's, it's a little more difficult than some other steak methods. I mean, it's not hard. It's, it's in a cast iron skillet and in the oven, and it's just kind of a little bit more difficult because you, Whenever you cook something in the oven and you have to take it out to check it and to sort of gauge whether it's done or not, that for steak, in my opinion, that's just a little bit more difficult. Um, it takes a little getting used to. Uh, we lately have been preferring the reverse sear method, especially on the smoker. We will smoke a steak to a specific temperature and then grill it, smoke it at a low temperature uh, for a longer amount of time and then grill it to sear it um, afterwards. Love that. Um, but this is, this is, this is great as well. And it's impressive and, and, you know, it's a very, uh, restaurant style steak in my opinion. So certainly recommend doing it this way. It has a little extra flavor from the herbs and the garlic. So do that impress impress your your friends with that and uh if you enjoyed watching me cook this uh please give me a thumbs up subscribe and come back and watch me cook something else